Hi, my name is Sam and I'm going to show you how our group's 3-bit counter works. So, you can design a 3-bit counter fairly easily using uh, very common off-the-shelf parts. You can get all this at Radio Shack. Um, to do this, you need a 555 timer, which is this right here. You need JK flip-flops, which are these two. Uh, you need an AND gate and a BCD converter and last but not least the seven segment display so basically what you need to create with this 555 timer is a one hertz square wave now we've configured this 555 timer to work as a one hertz um, square wave that it's an A-stable multivibrator now the timing is determined by the capacitor and the resistors. Now we're using a 4.7 microfarad capacitor and a 1K resistor and a 150K resistor. Now we're using the 1K resistor because we want a 50% duty cycle. That way the um, high and low of the square wave is equal. So basically we're going to take the output of the 555 timer and we're going to set it to the JK flip-flops. Now these integrated circuit, these chips, um, there's two JK flip-flops for each, so we could have easily made this a 4-bit counter, but all our design specifications were to make a 3. Um, so we have the clock pulse going into each JK flip-flop. It's also important to note that these are negative edge triggered JK flip-flops. Um, but besides that, we have the clock pulse going to each of them. And uh, there's going to be two inputs per each JK flip-flop and one output. Um, the inputs are J and K, and the outputs are Q. So for our first one, our inputs um, for the J and K pretty much go to the positive supplies of the um, power supply. And the output... Um, we'll pretty much go to the BCD converter, but the output is also used um, with the second JK flip-flop. So the output of the first JK flip-flop is the input of the second J and K for the second flip-flop. Uh, I know that sounded pretty confusing. Um, I'll try to make more sense of it when we put our report online. <laughs> but uh, for the second JK flip-flop, the output, um, which we'll call Q1, is also going to the BCD converter. And um, for the input for the third JK flip-flop, we need a combination of the output for the first one and the output of the second JK flip-flop. Now, these are going to be ANDed with the uh, AND gate. This is a quad AND gate, so um, we could have multiple things on this as well. So that's basically going to be the, the outputs Q0 from the first JK and the and Q1 from the second JK will be ANDed together for the input for the third JK. And the output is also going to go to this BCD converter. So basically this BCD converter takes in A, B, C, and D and outputs um, pretty much what you put on the uh, seven segment display. Now each uh, um, each part corresponds to a um, each segment corresponds to a output on the BCD converter. Um, so that's just an easy way of uh, using that to put to a uh, seven segment display. Um, this is active low, uh, and the 4511 chip that we're using right here is also active low, so there's not as much problem with that, and we don't have to uh, invert it uh, like some of the groups had to do. So that's basically it. We have resistors right here just to limit the current going into the um, LEDs because we don't want it to burn out. And that's basically how to make a 3-bit counter.